What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we're doing something completely different because I've got a bunch of people out here in the beer barn. Obviously the boat's not in here and what's going on today is really kind of fun. It's magical, it's, it's art. I'm artsy, he's artsy, we're all artsy. I don't know what this is for real though, but we got a, uh, first of all, Mr. Sam Moore right here. Freaking awesome videographer. I will have all his stuff linked down below. Go check it out, especially if you're in the business of getting stuff filmed. Um, I'm saving you for last. We got Rafi. Rafi's an awesome human being. You've probably heard me say his name before. He works over at Monster Bass. Rafi, what is your exact title? Um, my exact title is uh, Chief Marketing Officer. Chief Marketing Officer. That sounds really, really fancy. It is fancy. I feel weird saying it. I like it. It makes me feel fancy <laughs> just to know you. And then we have, then we have Zach Messer. He is the man that brought all of my ideas to life. Right? The guy who... Like, you know, I literally took crowns, crowns, as we've been making fun of everybody saying it this weekend, and drew out what I wanted to come to life on my crankbaits. And so he was the guy who brought them to life. And then we have the man who actually really did bring them to life, Mr. Rick Patry down here. What's up? Out. He has been asleep in the beard barn, and we're just hanging out and having a freaking good time is what we're doing. What we're doing this weekend is, is filming a project. Um, super secret project that I can't tell you guys about, but you guys are going to see it very, very soon, and you're going to love every single thing about it because we've been working on it for a while now. The video series that's going to go around it, everything about it is going to be awesome, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. And Sam, look, Sam is just so inconsiderate of my video making. I'm just kidding, buddy. I don't give a, I don't give a crap. No, no. See, no. Here's the problem: is he's got a bigger camera than me, so he thinks he can talk louder. You see, it's it's like a, it's like a complex. Okay, he's got a nicer camera and he's throwing it around. But no, what we're doing today is I'm going to paint my own bait. So Zach has got all of his stuff here, and he is going to teach me how to paint my own bait. Now, obviously he paints baits, right? That's what he does. Awesome, awesome bait painter. But we're gonna take this OG wiggle wart right here and we're gonna bring it to life in a pattern that I decide that I want to make it in and just do something cool that we've never done on this channel before, which is paint baits. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna hand this camera off to somebody and they're gonna point it at me and I'm going to paint a bait. Okay, right. All right, anyways, absolutely none of this is staged. So here's the wiggle wart. <laughs> if he messes up, he messes up. Doesn't matter. First time painting a bait, so it's probably going to happen. But I've had a lot of really cool mess ups. So I believe in you, Alex. I know you do. <laughs> I believe in myself. So pretty much we're going to clamp it down. The wiggle wart, you can't take it out of the clamp. Is that got a name, the clamp? Uh, I couldn't tell you. It's on Amazon. I don't know. It's Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much there's your gun. Mm hmm. This is your trigger, uh -huh. and the best thing for you to do is to paint on, or you get one of the little handkerchiefs. Okay. Now, here's all I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Spray it. One second. You're gonna hold it like, put it dead in the palm of your hand like that. Mm -hmm. Just like you were gonna write your name with this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then slide it back. Mm -hmm. And make sure you're gonna use this finger. Mm -hmm. Now when you push down, that's the air. Okay. No paint. Okay. When you pull back, you get paint. Oh. So, if you want a little bit of paint, you barely pull back. If you want a lot of paint, you pull all the way back. Mm. I would put this thing in there where you couldn't pull it all the way back, but I don't have it with me. But anyways, so just kind of play around there for a second. Okay, I will play. And see if you can't make like a perfect circle a few times. Okay. And just like you were telling him with the camera, Take this hand and put it under this hand. Okay. Now set it down there. Just keep making dots. I know that's crazy, but. We are literally watching paint dry. Okay, look. <laughs> now, paint a dot right there and don't hit the scissors. Paint a dot here. Paint a dot right in between that. And don't hit the scissors. Hit the scissors. Oh, just a little bit. You're you're good though. Okay, I'm good though. All right, I'm good, homie. We're good. I'm doing it. Now we're doing it. Now what color? What what are we thinking for this one? 
Hmm. While you're thinking, let me clean the guns. Okay. While he's thinking, we're gonna clean the guns. <laughs> right. So here, here's here's what we gotta think of. How, how do I want to take this original wiggle wart and make it something that's going to to catch a lot of fish? Now that's a complicated question, full of a lot of complicated um, crawl pattern is what we're gonna paint it because it's not that complicated. I know exactly what I want to make it. Um, I want to do a crawl, but you said crawls are hard. So could we do just like a like a crawl color? It doesn't have to exactly be like crawl scales and all that yeah let's, let's just do a crawl color and then uh i i can put the shell on it or you can practice the shell a few times and then we'll just do one one shell at a time because a wiggle wart you're only going to have three shells mm -hmm. so okay you, cool cool all right so that's what we're going to do we're going to do a really cool crawl pattern on here what so, i'm thinking is like a moss back like green moss back okay beige sides and instead of the pink belly let's do a methylate belly and we can make that happen oh yeah anything you want so all those colors you just said mm -hmm. kind of look in the paint mm -hmm. that we have there okay. and get the moss moss you so know, it literally moss. says moss on it yeah so this one's moss okay that one's uh, moss. What, what's the other color we need um a beige like skin tone beige skin tone so we're gonna go with Skin tone. Okay, and then methylate orange. Methylate orange, we have to make it. So to make it, we need detail orange, uh -huh. and we need fluorescent pink. Gotcha, nice. What other nice. colors you want on it? Um, and then I say we do the crawl pattern, just just bring the moss green down onto the bait. Okay. The crawl pattern? All right. Okay. That'll work. We can do that. So essentially what we're doing is a version of my juice crawl, is what it is. So if you've not checked out juice crawl, there's a link down below. Go use that link. Use the code BEARD, 10% off pick up some juice crawl crankbaits cause they're the bomb. But we're gonna make a modified version of what juice crawl is just with an orange belly instead, which we may bring that into the world. I don't know, we'll figure it out when we get there. So first thing we need to do this bait is uh, we gotta make the whole thing white. Cause so, we're gonna paint the bill cause mm -hmm. that's how the old school baits look. Mm -hmm. That's one of the only ones I've ever seen without the bill painted. Mm -hmm. You wanna yeah. leave it painted? You wanna paint it or it's not painted. paint it? That's yeah, fine, right, I'm down, yeah. So now I'm, I'm here to learn. You just yeah, tell me yeah, what we're yeah. doing. So we got white in there. Mm -hmm. That's enough white to do that entire bait. Okay. So just you're not going to mess up here. So don't be bashful. Just paint the bait. Okay. You don't have to worry about paint because this is our base coat. There you go. All right, hold up. Now, once you get that first layer on, mm -hmm. I know it's, it doesn't look right mm -hmm. yet. We want to go ahead and switch, give that time to dry. Okay, and then just do the bottom. Yep. Hold up, hold up, hold up. A lot of paint come out of your gun there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to switch it again. All right. Anytime that it gets really white really fast, just give it a second to dry. Okay. Don't worry about it getting really white really fast. It doesn't look really fast. All right, so hang your brush right here. Okay. You just set it in there. That way we don't okay. drop it or anything. Heat set. Heat set. Got it. On low. On low. I feel so artsy right now. I can't even stand <laughs> it. I feel like I'm making a Van Gogh. I know one thing. I can't. I cannot wait to see the fish that come off of this thing. Oh, dude, Especially where you're going to use it. All, all right. right. So let's do it again. Just repeat the process. We're going to repeat it until literally all we can see is white. I dig it. I dig it. When you hit the eyeballs, hold it on it for a second. It'll get really black. All right. All right. Oh, aim lower. When it, anytime, see how your paint's hitting here? Mm -hmm. When you want to hit an eyeball, we're just going to go like that and mm -hmm. shoot it at that angle. Now you're going to uh. get right where that you're missing. Beep, stop. Right there. As Perfect. soon as it turns, you're good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Anytime you're, okay, I should have told you this earlier, but anytime you're wanting to see how much paint is coming out of it, just paint the, paint the little thing. There you go. Oh. Sweet. Uh -huh. Oh man, we didn't cover up the wiggle work. 
That's all right. Uh, you ain't never going to. You know what it is. Mm -hmm. It ain't like it's ever going to go anywhere. All right, you're out of paint. Okay. When you hear it whistle. We're out of paint when we hear it whistle. There you go. How much I put in there? Just About three scotch. drops. About three drops. It's a scotch and a half. Yeah. Cook. Half a foot. Yeah. There you go. A scotch. Scotch. <laughs> it's a scotch. All right. There you go. Perfect. Now just cover up that riding in the bottom of the bill. All right. All right. Now we should hit. One second. Let me look at this thing. Okay. So what are you doing? Why are you doing that? I just want to see if there's any missed spots, uh, spots you didn't hit. Um, but here, you can get a close up of this. Here's how you know when you have the real deal. Do you see the, uh, you see that little square? Okay, so that's where they clamp this bait together. And this one's higher than this side. All right. So heat set it or keep painting. You're good, just go over it one more time, okay. the whole bait. Huh? Heat set it and I'll clean the brush and we'll get more colors going. Alrighty. <coughs> okay, Dougie. Alright. So, now you're wanting the skin tone on the bottom? Uh, the sides. The skin tone on the sides. What's yeah. the bottom? The bottom's gonna be violet. Orange. Right. Okay. okay. So let's go skin tone. Okay. So like when you're doing these, like, so say the people out here want to paint a bait, obviously I'm trying to learn this right now. Like, do you do you start with the sides, the top, the bottom? Do you work one direction to the other? I yes. mean, what's the process? So let's get a bait. So that's a perch, right? Okay. So when you look at a perch, when you're wanting, wanting to pick the colors, mm -hmm. so we're gonna look at the bottom. So we know we got a white bottom. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing we come to, is yellow, mm -hmm. and then the next thing we come to after that is gold, mm -hmm. and then that's brown. So when you paint it, you want to go white, yellow, gold, brown. Mm -hmm. You can see you can see how the top pattern is on top of the brown, and then those are on top of everything. Mm -hmm. So you just stack it the way you see it. Gotcha. That's gotcha. pretty much. That's pretty much it. St stacking up essentially from bottom to top. Bottom to top. Yeah. Gotcha. So right. your bottom. Here is methylate. We have to make that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go ahead and make it real so quick. So you put the skin tone in there just now, though. Yeah. Um, so we need to. Uh, do you want the Do you want the methylate to be under the skin tone or on top of it? On top of it. Okay, then we're good. Then we're good. Okay. So just come right down the edge of the bait. Okay. Uh oh. So when it runs like that, mm -hmm. it still has a little bit of cleaner in it. Mm -hmm. So just spray spray a little bit here. You're good. Okay. Now, on this one, you know how we painted the wide up close. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the gun about right there. Okay. Just so it's not hitting dead on the bait, mm -hmm. just give it a little turn. Okay. All right, hold up. Okay. Now that you see that, mm -hmm. We're gonna, the reason we stopped here, even if you want it darker, stop here mm -hmm. and do this side. That way you can keep going, okay, darker, darker, darker. Yeah, until you get kind of layering, yeah, 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 so yeah. you don't just screw up on yeah, one side. Yeah, because you'll have one side super dark, one side super light. Yeah. Okay. That's it. You want it any darker? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Okay. So you made four passes there, so just make two this time. Okay. There you go. Uh, flip it and do two? Yep. That when you first start, you want to count your passes. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, that's cool. All right, now the top is gonna to be that green, mm -hmm. but we want, we want it to fade in. So just go all the way down the bait this time. All like back yep. and forth. So you have four passes, let it dry, two passes. Gotcha. Okay, out of paint. Are you about? Yep. I heard it too. Three. Okay, All so right. we can see the one little, so kind of missed a spot here and kind of missed a spot here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and hit those a little bit. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay. Whenever, whenever you do it, just do it as little as you can because we can always put more, we just can't take away. Gotcha. 
vivo. A Gettys Bill. All right, now his nose. Okay. Sauce. Yeah, yep. Good. Good. And that spot. Good. I got it where it splatters a little bit, but yeah, you no, want like that. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of. Now we're going to do the green mm -hmm. on top of that. We yeah. don't want to clean the brush. Okay. Why is that? So it'll fade in. Okay. Cool. So you're going to spray here to, after I put it in there, mm -hmm. spray until it starts to turn green. And the second it starts to turn green, just stop. Okay. And then go to the bait. Okay. Cool, cool. I broke this one, so we're gonna have to do it like this. That's way too much, but. <laughs> cool. Okay. Now this time, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but start here mm -hmm. and go kind of fast. But keep the same distance when you go up. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you can even like start spraying. Go. All right, just keep doing that until you get whatever color you're wanting. Because this is all you. <laughs> mm, I love when it splatters like that, man. The trick to making it splatter is to literally take a, a $20 needle and bend the tip of it. That there you go. Oh, heck yeah. All right, so right here. Mm -hmm. So shoot at this angle. Mm -hmm. Nope, stay over here. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to hit anything but this. So shoot over here past the bank. Shoot okay. at my finger and then pull it over the bank. Just because of that lighter yeah, spot yeah, right yeah. there? Okay. Shoot past it. Oh, okay. And then, well, no, no. Huh? You want to just right there. Now just barely hit that with that overspray that's coming out of the brush. Perfect. All right, now if you want to make it look really cool, start right here and go all the way around the edge. And I mean literally, only cover like that much of it. Okay. Really dark. It just makes it look really cool. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Check if you got paint coming out. Okay, so when the brush stops, we just won't go. Oh, well, that's fancy. Why does the brush stop? Uh, probably because when we're outside, it's sucking stuff down in there. Yeah, I see. Oh, that's good. Okay. So now we got some dimension going on. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to put the little crawl dots on the side with that? We can do that with this. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 we can do that. Sure. Let's do that. Can we do that with the methylate? Uh, it won't show up. It'll change the color of the methylate because okay. the methylate only shows up on white. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I wish I could do that. Take notes, folks. See, that's the kind of stuff that's valuable information <laughs> like, that you need to hold on to. It really does. I can't get it to. Maybe somebody else can, but I can't. You're going to use a toothbrush and essentially just spray yeah. it on there. Well, I'm not. You are. <laughs> you're going to get yeah. it on your, you'll get it all over your thumb. So we're going to get that much paint. Mm-hmm. Send it to the bottom of the brush, mm -hmm. and then a few times we're going to do it down here. So see how I'm making little dots? Mm -hmm. So I'm barely touching and pulling. Okay. See if you don't do it on the bait. See if you can get little dots. Perfect. Now do your bait. Oh. We got to get the same angle. Go ahead. You could take that thing right now and smash them with it, <laughs> just the way it yeah, looks. Yeah, dude, you can, man. That is just... All right, now now this time, I want you to come straight over the top doing that. Okay. Yep, right, nope. If you put it at the angles, the dots will get bigger. Gotcha. Now it's just until you lock it. So, you don't have... Oh Lord. God, this is, don't, you've done something to me. This is way <laughs> too much freaking fun. Like, here, here, I got that fresh I'm going to have a whole one. painting kit out in the garage before. So already, look at this I, Between him and, and this, I'm going to be broken like six weeks. Because this dude, this, you got to understand, Sam is, 
a true professional. I just point a camera at myself and say words until stuff happens. This man actually makes magic, and he's got me all just jacked up about all his magic. Dabble. But, Dabble at best. Dude, you've got magic Dabble. wands over there in those bags, okay? But anyway. God, it looks good. It does look fantastic. Look at that so far. You can see the dots. So there's, there's there's all right, so now we have Bingo. The, <laughs> the fun part of making mythology. Okay, the easiest way to do this. Do you have a mythology worm? Mm -hmm. Can you get one? Mm -hmm. All right, sweet. We'll be back. You just like send me <laughs> links for like we'll affordable. Order. Where I leave. Okay. Well, for what? Give me. He's going to order a paint and kit. It's, like, it's, not, it's not like it's a lot, it's 230 bucks. Rick, it's I'll, have a, I'll be just sending you patterns left and right. That's it, I'm not teaching you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'll call you and get you to paint them. But you get what I'm saying. I'll go. <laughs> Robbie the cameraman. Yeah, yeah. I like All right, it. this whole thing's working out just as I planned. Yeah, this is just as I planned. <laughs> okay, so. Matale, <laughs> you gotta love it. Uh, it's my favorite color. I love all. There's the two colors it takes. Okay. Just you want me to do it or you want to do it? I want to try it. Okay, then you mix it yourself. Okay. And see if you can get it. Okay. Actually, here, use this one. Okay. And this one, actually. Wait I like that one better. I like the hot pink. Right, but you need a dot of this because that's what's going to make it run through the gun better. Gotcha. That's a thinner paint, so just like two dots in that. Two, okay, now mix whatever you want. But remember, you can add, you can't take away. So take your time. And you need a toothpick. Why do we need a toothpick? So you can stir the paint and get your color. Oh, well that makes sense. Toothpicks. To stir paint inside the little paint holder. Okay, to see what you have, touch it. Touch it to this. Now, lay the bait beside it. Oh my God, don't touch it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. First try, first try right there. <laughs> that it. is perfect, okay. that is, yes. Listen, but the first thing that's gonna come out is pink. So we gotta. Because you put pink on the bottom. Yeah. So go until you get methylate. Green. Strong methylate, not methylate. Hold up, okay. you got some with the gun. It's off, there it is. Pink. <laughs> So do we need to put the cap back on there or do we solve it? It's that? fine, it doesn't matter. Are you going all the way up the bill? Uh, I was probably just going to do the belly, but we can do the bill all the way up. Do the belly first. Okay. Don't use any more of it, don't have very much. Okay. <laughs> no joke. One second on the bill. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and do the bill. Find that little circle right here. Okay. All right, hold up one second. Okay. Let's do this. Now, when you spray this, mm -hmm. absolutely sp spray the crap out of it. Okay, what, what is, this is just a stencil, right? Yeah, but this is gonna give the bass, like, if you stopped it, they're gonna look up at it, it'll look more like a crawl. So it's not coming out. I see. Let me see it. Okay. Oh, that's cause it's gone. Oh, we used all of it? <laughs> yeah, we used all of it. Okay, well, that's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna make this work. So, I did. <laughs> I know what I did. Okay, well this time, times two. Okay, give me the that pink that we had. So how many you need? That's I got you here. Two, two of those. Okay, and then three of these. Oh, we'll do, uh, do six. So I know we got enough paint. That paint's really thick. You may have to like sling it to the front. There you go. That's a detail paint, so it's gonna be a lot thicker than the other two you're using. What's the difference between a detail paint and a normal paint? Where's uh, my little so you got, starry starry? Uh, I don't know, here, use this one. We got plenty. Okay. Um, pretty much, your fluorescent paint is gonna flow really good because it's thin. Mm -hmm. Your detail paint is for like doing crawl patterns or whatever, so when it hits, it sticks. It doesn't spread gotcha. very good. And it doesn't like to go through the gun. So we use some of this. I just get the pink out of the way. I want to come through. Let me... Oh, there you go. Well, we, I don't want to thin it because then it makes it harder to mm -hmm. paint. If we would just thin the paint, it would come out easier, but I don't want to thin it. 
just kind of yeah do that it'll make it look better anyway back off of the bait a little bit get over here down below just keep doing that okay now when you t oh, oh you slid it Ugh. perfect I promise you when you dip it it'll look cool as crap okay okay so now come up through here okay start up here mm -hmm. and then go down but you're wanting it really broad right mm -hmm. so just keep doing it all right now you want to heat set that before you do any more okay well just there you go okay set the gun get the blow dryer and you heat set it because this bait's going to go to flip when you okay so uh, This is when you need the elevator music. Yeah. Yeah. It's the next Bob Ross here, by the way. This guy's we'll put a happy little crankbait. This is just a little happy little crawdad just swimming around. He's just a happy crawdad. He's just swimming around. It's just a nice little crawdad. That's, dude, I think that's sauce. I think that's exactly what I want. Mm. He said it. Look at that. That's the key. The methylate, the pink. The pink is the deal. I've been telling you guys that for a long time. Nobody wants to listen, but it's the deal. Methylate, that's a great question. I, I still can't spell that word. M-E-T-A-H-L-A-T-E. <laughs> <laughs> Meth late. <laughs> meth late. No, I'm not kidding. That's <laughs> meth late. Oh, God. How do you spell it? Meth late. Meth late. Um, All right, don't touch it. Just, <laughs> whenever you're doing that, you just pick it up. Yeah. What you want it that way. Yeah. So is it better to, like... So the top's dry, so we can touch the top, right? Uh-huh. So we're just going to ease it up. We're going to keep playing until we luck out. And get it to hit where we want. Oh shit, we don't need, we don't need master. No. Oh my god, that is so saucy. That is so saucy. Look at that. Oh, that is exactly what I want. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know that I would put a crawl pattern on it because all you're gonna do is cover up the colors. Yeah, no, I'm, I think it's good. I think that's exactly black the eyes what I want. Out, though. Yes, I want to do hard, like big black eyes. <laughs> no. It's, That's going in the video. <laughs> it's cool. I'll still be your friend. Right. That's going in the video, ladies and gentlemen. All, All right. right. So throw your methylate out. And let I don't know. So you want to try to get the methylate dots on it? Dude, you said that. It, I know, but if you if if they're big dots, you could see it. But if that if you want them that small, it ain't gonna happen. Nah. All right. Screw it. Okay. So how do I dump this? Honestly, just throw it. Oh, like good. Good? <laughs> that or, was ten. or ten. Or ten. Or the whole freaking gun full. Come on, Alex. Right, let me get the let me get this. Okay. Because now I we're think we should make one of those in the series. I uh, yeah, I mean go down in the comment section, leave me a comment, let me know if you want to see this one be added to the series, because we can still add it, because they're not in production yet. So we could add this as the Alex Rudd custom custom custom. Mm -hmm. The one timer. It's the golden hit, hit, hold, up, hold up. Just hit the trigger, but no air. I mean, no paint. Okay. So I've got it set really low this time. Mm -hmm. So now practice. Make a little dot. Well, stop. Okay. Now, here's the hardest part. You have to hit dead center of that eyeball for this to work. Finish doesn't have to be. Or do you want me to make you a stencil to where we can put it up in front? Of. If you freehand it, it's gonna look better. If we put a stencil, it's gonna look like a like a you know a robot.
I want to try freehand. Okay, go ahead. So I just try? Yeah. What's the what's the key to to aiming? Okay, so here's what you want to do when you're doing an eyeball, right? Mm -hmm. You want to set it down. You're going to stabilize yourself. Mm -hmm. One hand on top of the other hand. Mm -hmm. Barely spray, and once you see that you're hitting in the middle of the eye, then get it a little bit more. But like I, like I said, you can't take away. So just, when you hit it, stop. And just keep doing that. And we want it, we want it dead at it, so. Looks like your middle line is where your colors meet. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. I mean, freaking. Yes. <laughs> All right, you got one more? Oh, one yeah. More. <laughs> and he's got it. Is that dark enough for you? Hmm. Might go just scotch. Just a scotch darker, maybe? Or do you like it? No, uh, that's matte. Now, the more you put on, the brighter the black's going to get. Are you sure? Hang it up for the paint. Are you sure that's, uh, that's, that's as dark as you want? Okay. I honestly think, I mean, like. Take, I, let's look at it in the sun. I mean, I don't think you're going to get much better than that. I mean, dude. I don't think you're going to get much better than that, right? Yeah, it looks good, man. It looks great. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now we got a dipper. How much fun is that? I do, I mean, like, I'm not playing when I say this. I'm about to spend a lot of money doing this crap right here. Like, that is ridiculous. Okay, let's dip her. Dip it. Get a stick for dipping and a stick for a drip line. Okay. What's a drip line? So it's so so this is self-leveling. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is put a drip line on it, and it will actually suck the access off of the bait. Like oh, you let gravity do it for you. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Wow, this bluefin. No, there you go. Okay. When you put this on through here, right through there. After you dip it, you can't you can't do it right now. Oh, after I dip it. Okay. Yeah. I just straight in, easy, all the way down. Push it up against the side because it's going to try to float up. So go ahead. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, don't use your finger. Okay. You'll get the, just keep going. Shove it uh, down in there. Okay. Gotcha. Pull up. Give it a second. Okay. And then we'll put our drip on there. Okay, go ahead and put the drip on there. Perfect. Okay. Now, man, just wait till tomorrow evening. <laughs> <laughs> She's good to go. No, we can go crush them. Okay. Um, that's it. We're done. Um, Take it beautiful out wiggle wart action here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go hang this thing up. We got to let it cure for 24 hours. Yeah. Right? About 24 hours. And uh, I'll be back to see you guys and show you the end result when we get there. So fancy movie magic. We'll see you tomorrow.